Clover is an experimental shoujo drama from the legendary manga collective Clamp. Published during the late 90s, Clover tells the story of Kazuhiko, a black ops agent who's tasked with escorting Sue, an angel hooker or something, across the futuristic barren wasteland. Maybe it's a wasteland, it's definitely barren, but Clover isn't a manga concerned about plot, it's more about atmosphere and storytelling. On hiatus for over 20 years now, this forgotten classic is the perfect clamp artifact from before they took over the world. It combines all of the tense, dark, and desolate themes of their early work with the passion, complex relationships, and heart-wrenching pain of their 21st century hits. Reading Clover is truly an experience every otaku should seek. As mentioned, the plot of Clover isn't great. The first two volumes cover Sue and Kazuhiko's journey, and we learn about Aruha, Kazu's ex, who had brought them all together in the past. Songwriting and collaboration, performance, intimacy, and betrayal are explored between these characters. The page layout is really different from what you're used to seeing. You'll have to focus on the speech boxes to determine who's speaking to whom, and about what. There isn't much shading, no backgrounds, but the character design for this cast is very detailed. It reminds me of Tokyo Babylon or Magic Knight Ray Earth, just minus all the color and happy. The dialogue is straightforward, it's just how Clamp illustrated this manga. Your mind has to reset itself temporarily when reading Clover because it doesn't read like a traditional comic or manga at all. Clamp hasn't really explored this style that much since though, Holic has a bit of that moody gothic aesthetic minus the cyberpunk, but it's not really that comparable to their other works. The final two volumes of Clover actually offer some semblance of a coherent plot. They explore supporting characters' connections with each other and reveal motives and backstory. While still depressive, it isn't as wild and sensory inducing as the earlier volumes. And unfortunately, it's unlikely that we'll ever see Clover completed. Clamp has a horrible habit of dropping their less successful stories and never returning to them. They just put them on hiatus. But I don't understand their approach to hiatuses. It really rubs me the wrong way as a fan. But if you're a fan of the late 90s cyber goth vibe, or if you love Clamp's work in general, I'd say grab this. There's an affordable collector's edition you can buy online that combines all four volumes, adds a bunch of color pages, and is high quality. This isn't essential reading, but it is unique. I'm giving Clover a 5.